Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Putri Nurul Asma Huda binti Zazali. I'm from 6 BME1. Today I will talk about how air cargo is revolutionizing the global economy. Over the past few decades, air cargo has grown significantly. The initial flight, which took place a century ago, delivered later over rather modest distance, but launched a series of events that would change trade and economies. Air cargo now moves more than 6 trillion worth of cargo annually, accounting for around 35% of all global trade in terms of value. Here is the four points I will elaborate. Growth in cargo globally, Increasing productivity and opening up new markets, medicine and humanitarian aid, and growth in the global freight fleet. Let's get deeper in growth in cargo carried globally. Simply put, the availability of air cargo has changed global trade and the economy of many nations. The option for export and import has risen along with the connectivity and volume of accessible air transportation. Costs have decreased as a result of higher volume of demand. No matter where a country is located, air cargo is drastic, drastically changed its ability to connect to other markets. Even in the absence of other services, aviation can provide dependable and quick connection. According to IATA, an increase of 1% in a country air cargo connectivity results in a sixth increase in commerce. Consider the rise over the previous 30 years to get a sense of the ongoing expansion in aviation freight. Less than 20 million tons of freight were flown in the early 1990s. This volume now exceeds 15 million tons. This has altered so many good supply chain and made it possible to export quite for assembly all over the world. Next, I will talk about increasing productivity and opening up new markets. Industries have prospered in many nations thanks to an efficient air cargo network. It goes without saying that perishable like food and flour may now be transported further. With the aid of air connectivity, high-tech and specialized industries have also seen tremendous growth. The main driver of economic growth, in the opinion of Air Transport Action Group, ATAD, is this long-term productivity increase. There has been significant development in recent years for industries that have benefited from advancement in air cargo. Data from ATAD show that throughout the 10 years starting in 2002, the yearly growth rate is 8% for medical machinery, 7.5% for semiconductor industry, 6.9% for phar pharmaceutics, and 6.1% for exotic foods. The third point is medicine and humanitarian aid. The increase and the increase in air cargo has benefited more than only manufacturer item and fee. More medicine and vaccination have been distributed globally, supplied quickly and under strict conditions. Although the impact on the economy is more difficult to quantify, it has significant positive effect on society. According to the WHO, World Health Organization delivered immunization can save up to 3 million child deaths annually. In time of emergency and humanitarian catastrophes, aviation quick reaction time has been crucial. Each year, 62,500 tons of humanitarian aid are transported by plane. During the epidemic, this quick response was demonstrated frequently. Moving to our fourth point, growth in the global freight fleet. The economy's future economic impact from freight volume is not something we can precisely forecast. However, taking a look at the anticipated growth in the freighter industry demonstrates how growth is going to persist at a remarkable rate. Over the next 20 years, the worldwide fleet of cargo aircraft is expected to grow by 70% according to IATA. By 2039, 2,430 new, new freighter aircraft will be needed according to manufacturer Boeing, who 777 and 747 aircraft presently dominate the freighter industry. Roughly half of this will be needed to replace HF-1 
aircraft and the other half will be needed to fulfill rising demand. For the conclusion, over the past few years, changes in infrastructure, increased connectivity and expanding freighter fleet have changed how air cargo is handled. This has increased commerce for numerous businesses, helped economies throughout the world and reduced prices while boosting alternative and dependability. Despite the epidemic, air freight traffic has remained robust. Volume decreased 12% while overall profit increased 15%. The industry is expected to, main, to remain robust and provide new opportunities for economy to expand. That's all from me. Thank you.